What's up guys, it's James. Me and Maddie, the one behind the camera, hey. have been full time on the road now for I believe 10 months, nine, 10 months. We've owned this for eight or nine months. We originally had an E-Pro travel trailer, which is was a 20 foot travel trailer, upgraded to this. And now we're gonna finally give our, our tour of our remodel. We really just did paint, um, couch, living room, bike rack on the back, solar, um, nothing too crazy. But we have 1,000 watts of solar. We boondock, I'd say 99% of the time. And we have a whole battery bank and um, inverter and everything. So we'll go over that. But um, so yeah, this is a 2004 Winnebago Sightseer 31B. And then we've got the, uh, the workhorse chassis over the Ford chassis because it's got more power, more torque. The RPMs are lower. And from everything I've read, Hazel's hitting her collar over there. <laughs> from everything I've read and talked to on people online, they said the workhorse is the way to go for the older models. So, um, which helps because we're gonna be towing Maddie's Jeep Gladiator, going up mountain passes and stuff. We're in California right now, but once we go to Oregon and Washington, we're gonna be hitting some mountain passes. So again, it'll help. But yeah, so let's go check out the camper. Let's do it. Okay, <laughs> I'll lead the one. All right, so this is the, uh, the passenger side of the RV. We've got our steps and our door, and then we have our storage for like chairs, uh, our mat and stuff like that. And here is really the entire, uh, the entire power for the RV. So right here we have got our 150 and 70 MPP MPPT charge controller. Uh, this is the guy who did our install off-grid camper. Cameron was great. So we have a 3000 watt inverter, which means we can run our AC, microwave not at the same time but we can run our ac microwave um fridge coffee maker anything really um and then back here it's gonna be hard to see but we have four lion energy batteries so they're all 105 amp hours which gives us 420 amp hours total and this is really the lifeblood of the camper how we're able to boondock um and and go anywhere and always have power and always be able to um live essentially without being hooked up at a campsite all right, so in here, behind the rear wheel, we've got Maddie's drawer. It's all Adam's polishes. There, I think there's two hammocks in here other than that. Otherwise, it's all Adam's polishes for her Jeep. And uh, yeah, so that's Maddie's drawer. In here, I'm not gonna open it because it's a mess right now, but it's uh, we have like basketball, soccer balls, a bunch of tools, I have a little grill, um, air compressor, motorcycle helmets, and stuff like that. We got our Yeti cooler for really just alcohol whenever we do buy it which isn't that often and then back here we have got a motorcycle rack which is rated for 600 pounds so here this side's a ramp and then this is where the bike goes on uh, and I load up my Kawasaki KLR 650 up onto here and then I'll probably try to make a video of this one day separate because there's a lot to it and then we have a hitch extension that goes underneath and we have our blue ox tow bars um, for flap towing the Jeep Gladiator. We used to have different tow bars, but they they aren't gonna be rated enough to tow to this guy, which is Maddie's Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, and then after we'll go on the roof and I'll show you the whole solar setup. But yeah, so this is my favorite part. This took me forever to figure out exactly how to do this because I haven't really seen many people with this setup the way that I wanted to do it, to be able to flat tow, plus have a motorcycle. Essentially, we just have a double hitch on the actual motorhome itself there's two hitches on top of each other that come out and that's how we're able to do this but yeah so super happy with this that way i can have a motorcycle on the road hi pump pop welcome to our youtube channel as soon as you start filling in, hey guys <laughs> so on this side this is the driver's side we've got our water tank uh fill you can fill it in here also but i opened that up so that way it overflows we've got our generator which we we only have to use if it's cloudy or rainy for a couple days, which is in here. It's a 4,000 watt generator. This is our dump station, uh, fresh water, gray water, uh, and, and that's really it. Everything in there. All right, so this is our slide out. Um, I'm not exactly sure how long the slide out is, but I think it slides out about two to three feet. And we have a huge storage compartment under here and it all connects, which is nice. So we have our paddle, our paddles for our kayak and paddle board that fit long ways in here again because they're all connected even though they're separate doors we've got our yeti which is normally in here we've got an extra tote bin we've got a fire a little fire ring an old uh, rim but in this front bin we have got essentially uh, all the oils coolant um, and stuff like that we've got a drain or a, a bin to do 
uh, oil changes. Then we have our other blue water jug. This is empty. So that's what I was saying. It's nice we can go and refill these. Um, thanks for the help, please. And then we have wooden chalk blocks in there. We've got, uh, they're called hush pads to put under our, our jack stabilizers, which actually helped us get out of the sand a couple times. And then right up here, you've got a little portable uh, vacuum because the inside doesn't have a vacuum like the new ones. So we can vacuum out the Jeep, the motorhome, everything like that. But yeah, so essentially all just storage for miscellaneous stuff. All right, so obviously we're on the roof of the camper and we got the solar panels on the front of the camper because again, you'll find out in a couple minutes, the back, I wanted to put kayaks and we wanted to put paddle boards. So we have five 200 watt solar panels up front. So a total of a thousand. We're probably gonna be adding more in the future. That way when it's cloudy or rainy, we don't have to run the generator because um, it's just annoying and sometimes it doesn't want to start. But yeah, so that's been great. And then we removed the satellite, the old dish, and all the old junk that comes with a 2004 Class A motorhome. And then we've got a single AC unit, which is decent when it's under 85 degrees, but as soon as it goes above that, it really doesn't help that much because it's a single unit and it just kind of maintains it at 75 or, or whatever. It won't bring it below that. So I wish we had two ACs, but we don't use it all that much. So now we're gonna go to the back and check out the kayak and paddleboard setup. We've got Maddie's paddleboard, which is I believe like an 11 and a half foot. And then we have these metal anchors that we just bought at a hardware store, put screw uh, and lap sealing on it. And so far, so good. Probably done about six, 7,000 miles on them. We have three on this side, three on that side. And then for the kayak, we have one, two, three, four. Um, and then the ratchet straps hold it down. But again, done 80 miles an hour, haven't had any issue. I'm sure someone's gonna have a problem with this, but we haven't had a problem. Um, but these might be going in the future. We've debated on getting inflatable uh, paddle boards just for ease of use, which means we might be adding more solar or just not have anything up here at all. But yeah, so far so good. I uh, just need two people to load it and unload it. But yeah, everything's been great. So that was the outside of the camper. Now we're gonna head on to the inside and check out the fun stuff. So this is the front of the Class A and that's uh, my seat. Maddie won't drive, she doesn't want to. <laughs> and then this is her seat and Hazel's seat. Uh, Hazel chills here when we're just, when we're camped. And then up here, is uh this is my desk area so as you can see it's decent size for a desk uh it's really flat which is good um and then we have our water jug and we have two of these we have one under the camper they both hold seven gallons of water um we don't need them but they allow us to boondock longer or we usually only do two weeks max um but we can boondock without having to worry so much about water because we have 14 gallons, seven and then seven underneath, plus our freshwater tank, which is used for showering, washing dishes and stuff like that. So um, it just, we don't have to worry as much and we can refill these. Then we have our Brita filter. Uh, and then Hazel also likes to chill up here when we drive. We usually put her circle bed up here. And then we have a fish up here, the newest addition to the family. His name's Finn, very original. Um, <laughs> And then up here, this is Maddie's drawer. She got her laptops up here. We have a safe um, and stuff for work for her. And then in here, this is mainly my stuff. Uh, she, we have my two hiking bags, her one hiking bag, um, a tripod, the camera's usually in there, my drone, stuff like that. And then up here is my work stuff. Um, it's a mess right now. My work stuff, drone chargers, uh, a bunch of stuff, laptops. And then we have um, airbags on the rear. So this is the controller for the airbags, um, air support bags, not actual airbags. We have leaf springs as well. And then um, we have the hydraulic leveling system, which is nice because coming from our old camper, we didn't have that. So it's, it's so easy to pull up the campsites and we can just hit the buttons and within two minutes we're set up and good to go. And then over here, we've got Hazel's toy bin or toy basket whatever you want to call it. The heater's under there as well. So when we have the heat, we obviously move that out of the way. Then we have a trash uh, bin and it sounds stupid, but we, me, we, more me, I love this trash bin because we used to have a smaller one and it took like every three days we would have to take it out, which is annoying when you don't have somewhere to take it. So we can go like a week with this, which is nice. Again, sounds dumb. And then back here we have like the big food bag for our dog. 
Um, and then we refill another like smaller thing to feed her. Um, so we keep it there just so it's out of the way and we only refill her other thing every couple weeks. So, um, but yeah, so that's pretty much the front of the camper. So here's our entertainment area. We have a 32 inch TV mounted on the wall, which used to be up here where our backpack was. Uh, well, there was no TV. That's where it came from the factory. We put it here so that way we can look straight. Um, and then it's just mounted to the wall with your typical house mount. Up here, we have our Netgear AirCard 797 and our WeBoost, which as you can see right now is not hooked up because we don't really need to use it that often. Uh, the WeBoost that is because we generally have good enough internet to work. Um, but when we're in bad places or bad internet, such as like the Tetons, Yuma, and I believe there's one or two other spots, then we need it. But we really don't use it much for, I think it was 600 bucks. But the Netgear AirCard is great. We have an unlimited AT&T plan. And then over here, we have our coffee bar. There used to be a third chair here, kind of like this that swiveled, uh, but we made it a coffee bar. So we got hot coffee, Maddie's ice coffee machine, and uh, Hazel's treats, pretty much it. And then down here, we have got Hazel's bed. And then under here, we have got our Nintendo Switch, which uh, is pretty awesome for Mario Kart. And that's, I think, the only game we have. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for the uh, entertainment area. Over here, we've got the kitchen. And it's also kind of like our power station-ish in a way for the inside. We've got our Victron battery monitor. And I'm not sure what the top one's called. Victron, call it control module. Um, but this is how we can see what our batteries are at, um, how much power is being drawn, turn the inverter on and off, and whatnot. So that's that. And then we got our Verizon um, router here. This one has to be plugged in, um, but we have a Verizon plan. And then as I said earlier, we have the AT&T. That way if we're working and one of them's not fast enough or something happens to the towers, we can swap over to, to either or. So, so far, so good. Then we got our Alexa. And then over here is just our kitchen. This is usually where our fruits and veggies and garlics, onions, stuff like that. We bought this to hang up but we kind of just ended up leaving it uh, there because it works and it would be really heavy to hang on the wall. We got our fancy paper towel holder, Maddie's mom's recipe book, all the utensils, cutting boards. We did that, the typical tile that everyone does for the RVs, the, the stick stuff. So it did work decent, but not amazing. And we got a three burner stove, um, microwave, which we can use when we're boondocking because we have our 3000 watt inverter which for me is huge. I love the microwave. Up here, we have got our, oh, that's a mess. Um, we have got all the cups and plates and bowls and stuff. And then we got silverware, uh, like pasta strainer, saran wrap and all that stuff. And then here is Hazel's food and cleaning stuff and stuff like that. And then we do have an oven, which we use once in a while. And then down here is just uh, like pots and pans and stuff. So nothing too fancy. And then this is our freezer and fridge. This is Hazel's uh, toy checklist because she always loses her toys. <laughs> that way we aren't buying toys all, all the time. And then over here, we've got our pantry, which is actually really big. It's a mess, but it's huge, which from in, coming from our GeoPro, um, it was probably about like the third of this size. So for us, our pantry space isn't really a problem, but we run out of fridge space sometimes. And then down here is just uh, Again, like pots and pans, storage stuff, Tupperware, and uh, fuse panel down there. But that's about it for the kitchen. So over in the couch and living room area, uh, we got this idea from Tim and Finn. Uh, they have a YouTube channel. They traveled with this like exact camper, essentially. So this is from Ikea, but this pulls out into a king size bed. And then under here, we have like extra linens and pillows and stuff like that. And it, it folds up or pulls up and we have actually a bunch of storage. But yeah, so we're not the creative ones with this. We stole that from them. And then up here, we have got uh, a bunch of storage. We got like protein, toaster, waffle maker, and then we've got uh, alcohol and premium protein. And then we got like board games and all of Maddie's apple boxes because she won't throw them away. So yeah, that's kind of the, the funnish thing, I guess, I don't know. And then over here is just really miscellaneous. So we have like uh, our quarters in there. Maddie has like her one print machine. And then this table, I believe also came from Ikea. 
and it doesn't go all the way to the ground because of the slide out. So we put little rubber grommets that you would put uh, on like a couch or something and it lifts it up. It's not perfect. As you can see, it kind of moves around, but does the job. And then these two chairs are from Ikea or from Target, sorry, from Target. We don't really use this one. Um, generally when we eat dinner, me or Maddie will sit here. The other one will sit on the couch um, just cause it is kind of tight. But when we have people over or whatever, then we use both of them. And then down here, we've got Hazel's food bowl and water bowl. And then we have got uh, Hazel's other bin in the back. Maddie can get the shot. Um, so in there we have like Hazel's life jacket, um, winter jacket, stuff like that. Stuff to look cute. So yeah, so that's pretty much this whole area. And then uh, this wall we just recently added just to make it not so white in here. And then we also did this trim at the same time because this used to be like a, a boring light brown. Then we've got a calendar and just some plants. Nothing too fancy. Come with me. So right here we've got the other control panel uh, for propane, turn the generator on, heat and AC. We can use our air conditioning when we're boondocking, but only for like two hours until either the batteries die or they start to overheat. But, uh, and then we can control our slide out. And then over here we've got our shower and then on the other side is the bathroom. And then behind me is our bedroom. So let's check out the shower. Right. So we got a cool shower, um, very yellow, very yellow. Um, we just recently actually hung up that shower head after about eight months or so in this camper. Of it falling and hitting us on the head. Yeah, so that's like a huge upgrade for us, just having a shower head. You don't have to hold with one hand. Um, but yeah, so that's the, sh the shower. So in here is the bathroom. And then what's nice is got this little latch. You can hook it on here. Oh, I see myself. <laughs> I can hook it on there and then uh, you got privacy in between the rooms and then get out of your way. And here's the bathroom. All we did was paint it white and then paint the bottom half gray and hung up this little towel holder. And that's really it. We had plans to redo the sink and countertop, but never got around to it. So that's the wonderful bathroom. Here's the bedroom and we got a queen size bed. And then we've got Maddie's closet and my closet on the far side. And then this is hers also, which she has like pants and shirts and stuff. Uh, we're gonna open mine because hers is probably a mess. So uh, we've got bins up there. To, it's actually really big, but we've got sweatshirts, jeans, pants, Shoes. yeah, stuff like that. So um, we, at least I don't have a problem with clothes storing. She might, um, if you see our closet. But yeah, so that's um, that. And then over in the corner, We've got uh, PlayStation controllers, the remote for the TV, and in the corner over here, we've got a PlayStation 4 mounted on the wall, and then we have another 32-inch TV. It's actually the same TV that's in the living room, um, and that this one back here can swivel, which is kind of nice. We've got two shelves for her. We've got a book, Buddha shelf, and then up here is Jim Chalk. Jim Chalk. Or Jim Shark. Uh, fitness clothing that's her special shelf for them and then we have uh, black curtains that we just bought somewhere and then some like old lady in South Dakota sewed them up for us and she like it was very long so she folded in half and you can't see in with these even though our windows aren't tinted which is really nice for privacy we've got our hamper here and then under me we have pump pop which is the dog and then this is her her other bed She's sleeping. <laughs> She's a <at> camera. <laughs> Such a bad shot, but okay. <laughs> um, and then again, Maddie's closet. And then she's got a couple drawers here. And I also have a couple drawers on my side. I forgot to mention below. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the bedroom. We added this backsplash. When it's when it's really bright out, you can see the glue that- Like right now. Seeped out. Oh, you can't, okay. Mm -hmm. So you can see the glue because I didn't want to use nails, which I should have just used finishing nails. But uh, yeah, so that's that bedroom we got led lights and wow. yeah that's that's the inside of the camper so fancy <laughs> pump up tell us about the campus pump up. this is the couch where i get all my z's in um that's my other bed i have like six other beds uh <laughs>